Hello, everyone. We are back with more important authors for Net and Set. Aar dekho, fever wali Ankita ko. <laughs> she's having fever, but she said, no, I want to meet all of them. I'll be there in live. I said, you rest. We'll cancel if you are not well. She said, no. <laughs> this is so lovely. We are really looking forward to this every evening. <laughs> Today we had Christmas celebration at Valad. Did you see our Instagram live? You should check it out, okay, everyone? We are all set for the next batch. Online class starting on January 8th. Wow, people are joining, joining, joining. There are so many options. If you want, you can join without the books. If you want, uh, you can also pay into installments. Uh, there are so many classes. Everything will be covered and you will get a lifetime access to it. You will pass many exams because of this course. It is our uh, six-month online program. You should all check it out and join. Okay, guys? Right. So, Hello, everyone. Ooh, 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 ooh. Video on. We are okay. back with... <laughs> so, everything is fine now. So, dear friends, uh, today we have a set of more British literature authors. We are moving towards the 20th century. Right, Ankita? Very good. Very yes. good. Yesterday, Ankita, you did a great job. All Everybody in YouTube was saying this, I saw. And uh, they were also, some of them, texting me. Thank you, Ankita. We love you. So, uh, this is Authors Day Three. Everybody ready? Half a league, half a league, half a league onward. All in the valley of death rode the 600. 600 people marched in the Crimean War and they just died. You know, it is a very sad picture of people getting having to sacrifice their lives in the Crimean War. These are the opening lines of a poem. Which poem is it? Do you know who is the author? We have the Crimean War picture here. It is Tennyson's Charge of the Light Brigade. Isn't it, Ankita? Yes. So there we go. Charge of the Light Brigade. Remember Tennyson was a poet laureate and Tennyson had to write about the government, supporting the government and he did that. And uh, this uh, also led him to write about India. He wrote about the Indian mutiny also. He wrote about uh, the Indian mutiny, the poems like Defense of Lucknow. Have you heard of that everyone? Very good. So Second question, set in a gothic town. This novel follows the life of the heroine, Lucy Snow. Lucy Snow is the protagonist who apparently has no attractive accomplishments, no beauty. Oh, that is so sad. Identify this novel. You can see in the picture, the author. Who is the author, everybody? YouTubers. Yes, I'm checking out your messages. Very good. It is a semi-autobiographical novel by Charlotte Bronte. And it is named after a French town. Isn't it, Ankita? It is Villette. Yes. Villette yes. is the uh, novel where you have Lucy Snow. It is a semi-autobiographical novel. Shirley, the professor, Villette. These are all by Charlotte Bronte. But the tenant of Wildfell Hall is by whom, Ankita? And Bronte. And Bronte. I'm not asking you to read because you're not well, okay? Uh, when I'm in doubt or when I need some support, I will turn to you. Thank you. Okay. So it is Villette, Charlotte Bronte's. Gothic town it is. It is a, an imaginary French town. Ta -da -da! Next question. Those who are in Instagram, check out our Christmas celebration uh, live that uh, we did in Instagram. It is amazing. I want you all to watch it and comment and like. Will you do that? Thank you. And next question is, little father time, a world weary, depressed child. Oh, so sad. 
he lacks any curiosity or joy and he kills himself and his siblings that is so sad he is from the uh, village of wessex oh it is one of hardy's novels all the novels given in the options are hardy's is he from far from the madding crowd jude the obscure the return of the native or the woodlanders come on everybody little father time is the daughter of jude folly in jude the obscure jude and sue are living together and uh, uh, little father time is jude's son by arabella and this boy is sad seeing jude and sue suffer and he kills himself he commits suicide also and he kills his siblings also very sad story isn't it everyone so it is jude the obscure all right lives little ironies is a dash by thomas hardy you can see thomas hardy here in the picture is it a poetry collection is it a collection of short stories is it a verse drama oh is it a verse drama do you know or is it a short novella novella ya to collection of po uh, po poems or ya to collection of short stories what do you think ankita is the answer it is a collection of short stories wow lives little ironies collection of short stories great hey guys are you all preparing for wb set wb set is, is over are you all preparing for k set and other exams did you know in our telegram we have a 930 live you should join that every day is absolutely free of cost yes and if you want to spend some money and get all the treasures from walat you can just join our course admissions are going on there is a disc heavy discount till christmas after christmas the price will increase a little bit now it is 18000 it is really worth it because so much material updated material so much more textual content sanskrit poetics and things like that we are adding and you can also get lifetime access uh, after christmas it will be 20 2000 more 20000 it will be real price will be 24000 so please don't wait 24000 it will be in january okay so going on the captain's doll is a short story they are all short story writers oh rudyard kipling d s lawrence james joyce thomas hardy all of them have written short stories who wrote the captain's doll let us see it is d s lawrence remember d s lawrence wrote many short story collections many poetry collections he wrote many plays also he was a very important novelist of course as you know right and uh, the minor works of these major authors are important please remember that okay guys right so d s lawrence okay ankita can you tell me the name of a poetry collection by d s lawrence any poetry collection birds beasts and flowers that's right birds bees and flowers do you know any play by d s lawrence the widowing of mrs holroyd hena that is one uh, there is the daughter in law uh yeah so uh that is d s lawrence choose the wrongly matched pair here also we have d s lawrence's works lady chatterley is lover 1928 sons and lovers 1913 Rainbow, nineteen eighteen. Women in Love, nineteen twenty. Which of these is wrong? And can you help us? Here, option C is wrong because the Rainbow was published in nineteen fifteen. Nineteen fifteen is Rainbow. Now, uh, Women in Love, nineteen twenty. Together, they were called what? They were conceived as one novel. It was called Sisters. the sisters and also the wedding ring these were the titles given for the combined edition did you understand very good guys uh, later lady chatterley's lover was published by which publisher this is an early small informal publication in 1960 published by penguin Pen penguin came under uh, obscenity trial and it was richard hogarth who testified in favor of penguin did you know that in women in love who are the two women characters 
Ursula and Gudrun. Ankita, you remember, I know I'm just trying to avoid giving you more stress because Ankita is running a fever, guys. Even then, she is working hard and she's here with us. Very good. Sons and Lovers, published in 1913. What other momentous incident happened in 1913, Ankita? Momentous Rabindranath uh, Tagore. Ah, uh, got the Nobel Prize, yes. Rabindranath Tagore got the Nobel Prize. Nobel Prize. Very good. Yes. Which poem among the following has borrowed his epigraph from a famous character of Conrad's Heart of Darkness? The Wasteland, sorry for the mistake. The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock, The Hollow Men, Journey of the Magi. One of these has the epigraph, Mr. Kurtz, he dead. That is the epigraph. It is in The Hollow Men. You two babies, I know that you all know this. A penny for the old guy, that is also the epigraph. A penny for the old guy refers to Guy Fawkes Day. And the hollow men is written like a nursery rhyme. Okay, I love this poem. We are the hollow men. We are the stuffed men. Leaning together, headpiece filled with straw. Alas, our dried voices when we whisper together are quiet and meaningless as wind in dry grass. Or rat's feet over broken glass in our dry cellar. Shape without form, shade without color, paralyzed foes, just without motion. Those who have crossed with direct eyes to death's other kingdom. Remember us, if not at all, not as lost violent souls, but only as the hollow men, the stuffed men. <laughs> that is the poem. Right. Okay, guys. Old Posum's Book of Practical Cats. It's all T.S. Eliot. T.S. Eliot is very important. It's a collection of whimsical light poems by T.S. Eliot. Anna, about feline psychology. Oh, cat psychology and also sociology. Who published it, Ankita? It was Faber and Faber who published yes. this book. That is where T.S. Eliot also worked as an assistant director. And a, a Faber and Faber. There, he helped a lot of uh, young poets. A lot of young poets got published because of Eliot who worked there. That is also amazing. Faber and Faber. They go FF. That was the uh, logo. The Doors of Perception, which elaborates on the author's psychedelic experiences under the influences of mescaline. It is an autobiographical novel by a man who engaged in psychedelic drug experiences. He was interested in Vedanta. He wrote the introduction to uh, the Song of God, which was the translation of Bhagavad Gita. Who is this? It is Aldous Huxley, who wrote The Dose of Perception. Very good. Luperkal. It is a famous poetry collection by a man who studied anthropology. He won a poetry competition because of Sylvia Plath. Sylvia Plath asked him to uh, participate in a poetry competition. So he must be Sylvia Plath's friend. Eh, Ankita? Husband. It, husband. Oh, it is Ted Hughes. Ted Hughes who wrote Luperkal. Look at this anthropological ancient cultures and all he talked about. Hawk in the Rain, Luperkal. These are important poetry collections by Ted Hughes. Okay. Who among the following has written a poem about a man against whom there was no official complaint? All the reports of his conduct agree that in the modern sense of an old-fashioned word, he was a saint. He did not create any trouble. When he died, nobody knows who he is. He is known by a number. It is The Unknown Citizen by W.H. Arden. The Unknown Citizen is about a man whose corpse is found and nobody knows who that is. And this is a satire on bureaucracy and tyranny. Will you remember this, everybody? So, YouTubers... How are you all? All set for Christmas? We are planning a lot of things here. Today we had Christmas celebration, as I told you. You can check out our Instagram live. And 
we are planning to do some youtube live and facebook live etc for christmas just to wait <laughs> right so this is uh, the end of the old year we have to make new resolutions our resolution will be to work harder to do more what about yours okay ayyo what is this mcmxiv that means 1914 This means 1914. It is a poem. It's about the year in which the First World War began. It is a poem by a man who was a librarian. He wrote in a very sardonic tone. Who is it, Ankita? It is Philip Larkin. That is right. 1914 is by Philip Larkin. Philip Larkin is looking at Ankita like this. Hmm. You know me. <laughs> right philip rakin wrote told about work he wrote ambulances he wrote uh, witch and weddings yeah youtubers very good very good very good the caretaker by harold pinter is a drama in three acts it is set in spring summer autumn winter are mujhe bhi pata nahi hai the caretaker it is about mick davis aston You know, one man is bringing home a tramp as a caretaker. Ankita, you got to help us. It is set in winter. Oh, now all of you in the northern parts of India are shivering with cold. It is at that time you need a caretaker, isn't it? So remember, caretaker is set in winter, right? Murphy, first published in nineteen thirty-eight, is an avant-garde novel. dealing with the themes of isolation and existential crisis this is a by an absurdist and he is depicting a man who refuses to do anything he cannot do anything he does not do anything except die is it albert camus is it jean paul sartre samuel beckett or francis kafka it is samuel beckett guys murphy molloy malone dies unnameable how it is these are all novels by samuel beckett which are the three plays by samuel beckett ankita waiting for godo so no. then end game end then. game and happy days very good happy days which work of george orwell youtubers you know this one had the setting of the spanish civil war Is it 1984 Animal Farm Homage to Catalonia or The Road to Vegan Pier? Remember guys Catalonia is in Spain so it must be Homage to Catalonia. Homage to Catalonia Road to Vegan Pier is a journalistic work. Will you remember that? Right. Which work among the following concerns the extinction of one of the last remaining tribes of Neanderthals? lok and fa they are the neanderthals they are getting extinguished by the emerging homo sapiens the homo sapiens are killing the neanderthals in the inheritors by william golding the inheritors by william golding alan weaver a writer as the protagonist in win which booker prize winning novel he and his friends we see there is a death happening at a party it is the sense of an ending nahi the old devils ah uh, it is the old devils um uh, alan weaver i think i said the answer uh, the story correctly check it out okay guys i am a little mixed up between old devils and sense of an ending say so, old devils one booker prize it is by kingsley amis sense of an ending is by julian barn barns very good which among the following is the only historical novel of iris murdoch historical novel is it under the net the bell the unicorn the red and the green ankita it is the red and the green it is yes. set, huh? it is set in the context of the 1916 easter uprising yes 1916 easter uprising in ireland this hmm. green is the code green is the color of ireland remember that yes 
So the red and the green. Under my skin is an autobiographical work. A small personal voice also she wrote, I think. It is Da. Ankita. Doris Lessing. <laughs> Doris <laughs> Lessing wrote Under My Skin. A small personal voice also. Which novel among the following discusses the chaos and horrors of the Pearl Harbor attack? There is war going on. Pearl Harbor, uh, Jap Japan has attacked America. Which is the novel, Ankita? Sun by J.G. Ballard. Empire of the Sun. Jamie Graham is the protagonist. His parents are lost in the war. He's, he's alone. J.G. Ballard also wrote The Drowned World, The Crystal World, The Burning World. Um, J.G. Ballard wrote uh, Crash. Right. So that brings us to the end of this amazing uh, set of questions. Angita, thank you very much for being with us. Even though you're not well, may God bless you. You'll get well soon. And dear, dear YouTubers, did you like this video? Are you benefited by it? Please share with your friends. It will be a great help for us. We'll be able to continue every day like this if you support us. So please share with your friends, like this video and also check out our course that is starting on January 8th. I'm reminding you because in another four days, uh, the discount offer will be over and the price will go up a little bit. Uh, so right now it is only 18,000. You have such amazing resources for it. So please check out our uh, course and join and it's totally updated. Thank you, everyone. Merry Christmas. But we'll be back with more tomorrow also. Ankita, I hope you will get well, well by tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>